any family you don't follow in any protest is the Smith family, especially something concerning the black community. You looking at a couple who sold their own kids out and now the kids trying to sell us out. It ain't about their expression as kids. These jokers are willing puppets for the one world satanic gender fluid agenda. You got Jaden Smith, the leader of the carefree black boy movement, redefining black masculinity and saying it's okay for guys to be feminine and walk around here wearing dresses and flowers on their heads. You got the system pushing for black men to act more like chicks when we got 72% of black children being raised in single family homes. What people don't understand is that it was cultivated to be that way starting from the 60s when the government co-opted the feminist movement. We are talking about a CIA-backed operation that got us to where we are today and is continuing to destroy the true masculine and feminine nature of the parents in the family unit using puppets like Jaden Smith and Willow to shape the minds of the young generation. Remember, they're going to be the ones who grow up and they are the future. You got Willow dressed like a boy as the carefree black girl. And you see in this particular case, it's marketing to the youth of the black community. Your son, talking to Jada, being the face of Louis Vuitton women's wear, standing next to these chicks and what looks like a guy with a wig on at the end. Heck, they might as well all be guys knowing how things are now. But fact of the matter is, He's in a freaking ad, which means he's actively promoting this to young men everywhere. You see all this bull crap, yet you coming out here talking about it's time to boycott the Oscars. And before y'all say something slick, the selling out started with Will Smith and his initiation role in Six Degrees of Separation, where he played a gay role that will make RuPaul blush. And if you see that, it's no surprise his kids turned out to be this way. Back to the Oscars. So knowing how they're perfectly okay with their kids selling the black community down the river, it's completely phony that she's coming out here acting like she's boycotting the Oscars for the black community. Let's look at what she said. This is so deeply not about me. This is about children that are going to sit down and they're going to watch this show and they're not going to see themselves represented. Children. Since when were you concerned about children? You ain't even concerned about your own children. Leading the children down a predetermined path set up by people who want to see them destroyed. Joker said, children that are going to sit down and watch the Oscars. What kid you know is looking forward to watching the Oscars? Heck, I have a hard time finding a grown person who's looking forward to watching the Oscars. Jada says, I will not be at the Academy Awards and I will not be watching. So, it ain't like you won nothing. And Will Smith ain't going either. So, it ain't like he won nothing either. What you got here is she trying to tear the whole party down because her husband didn't win that stupid little trophy. Y'all got to understand, Will Smith has been trying to get an Oscar. So he's been picking to be what I call Oscar movies. He tried with Pursuit of Happiness, didn't get it. He tried with Ali. He was sure that time he was going to get it, didn't get it. So then we get this soggy old concussion movie. And y'all, when I saw the trailer, I said to myself, oh, man. Here go one of these boring Oscar movies. Let me make sure I don't see this. So he plays in the concussion movie. Doesn't get the Oscar. And now we hear Jokers talking about boycotting the dang Oscars and trying to bring us along with him. At this point, Will Smith is desperate as heck for the Oscar. So he's looking for the guaranteed Oscar role where he going to have to play a transgender man with Down syndrome who has to overcome all the odds by mastering the violin. It's beautiful. And the winner is Will Smith. Get on somewhere, Joker. 
let's not get caught up in their bull crap. Y'all know good and well you didn't care about the Oscars before she started yapping about it. Most people ain't all too impressed over the so-called Oscar worthy movies anyways, especially my generation. We pretty low maintenance when it come to entertainment. A lot would rather watch episodes of a TV show on Netflix before watching an Oscar movie. Look at Walking Dead. They got some of the worst fake country accents I've ever heard on the show. Yeah, people can't stop watching it. On the other hand, jokers at the Oscars want things to be perfect. The way he tilted his head in this camera angle to express his deep concern to his wife that she must allow the doctor to chop off her foot in order to live is just superb. Give that man an Oscar. We don't care about that stupid crap. If we're gonna talk about race though, we must acknowledge, just like Chris Rock said, the Oscars are the white BET awards. And I don't agree with him on most things. And y'all wanna act all surprised, but this is the same country where white people played the role of black people in movies with painted black faces. Have you seen the crowd at the Oscars? Have you ever been to New Hampshire? This is what it looks like. At the end of the day, you got to realize it's a white people award show. You get Tyrese and 50 Cent talking about Chris Rock shouldn't show up. Well, what the heck, Jokers? It don't matter if you protest the Oscars, but this guy is getting paid to be there. Somebody let Snoop Dogg know it probably doesn't matter at all that he's boycotting the Oscars. Plus, if the boycott is about blacks not being represented at the Oscars, why would you not want a black man hosting the awards and being one of the ones who's most likely to make fun of the obviously annual white people awards? Doesn't make sense for him to sit it out. Why is Chris Rock the host? Because they want black people to watch the Oscars and they want the 88th Oscars to be about race. Everybody knows full well of the racial tension in this country. The government loves to use the media to keep the divide in the nation strong, to get people to support their one world agenda. Jada Smith knows about that, which is why she is manipulating those divided people to back her agenda. And that's for her husband to get an Oscar. Look at how backwards this is. What if this does work? After this, every time a black person win an award, it's going to be like, oh, he ain't really win that. See, that's because they was protesting. And it amazes me how sellout jokers like her can get the so-called black conscious movement to protest for white people approval that they are good at their craft. Look at this joker right here crying about John Legend in common. Remember, they won the Oscar for the song Glory. Like, this is it. White people finally accept us. That type of behavior sends the wrong message. Jada got y'all acting like y'all really be watching the Oscars. What? What are the dang Oscars? Here go the Oscars right here. And the winner of Best Makeup Artist of 2015 is... That Joker nobody know. Come on up here, Joker. Who, me? Wow. Wait a minute. Me? Wow. Can't believe it. Wow. Hold on. Wow. Yeah, okay, first of all, I want to thank my fans. What the heck? Yo, fans, don't nobody watch the movie credits? So what am I saying? Jada is full of crap. The Oscars is full of crap. And Chris Rock is... The Revenant del director mexicano Alejandro González Iñárritu encabeza la lista de nominados al Oscar con 12 candidaturas. Entre ellas tiene la de Mejor Película, Mejor Director y Mejor Actor para Leonardo DiCaprio. El domingo, en los Globos de Oro, The Revenant triunfó sobre las otras películas. Ahora le da al negro González Iñárritu la posibilidad de volver a ganar la estuotilla de la Academia. El año pasado, Iñárritu triunfó 
con Birdman. Matt Max Free Road de George Miller le sigue de cerca con 10 nominaciones, entre ellas Mejor Película. La épica de ciencia ficción de Ridley Scott The Martian consiguió 7 nominaciones, incluyendo también Mejor Película. 8 filmes fueron nominados a Mejor Película. Los otros 5 son el drama de Tom McCarthy sobre periodismo investigativo en Spotlight, el thriller de Guerra Fría de Steven Spielberg en Bridge of Spy, la adaptación de Adam McKay de Big Short de Michael Lewis, el drama de una madre e hijo en Cautiverio en Room y el relato de inmigración irlandesa con la película Brooklyn. La presidenta de la academia, Cheryl Bowen Isaacs, había incrementado los esfuerzos para hacer crecer los premios de este año y diversificar a sus miembros. Ahora nombró a Chris Rock como anfitrión de esta ceremonia y él va a ser el que diga And the Oscar goes to y esta ceremonia se realizará en Los Ángeles, California, este 28 de febrero, donde más? En el Teatro Kodak. Para MVM Televisión Informática.